What do you think is the reason so many liberals have such low IQs? Well, that's a... Um that's certainly a question that's loaded. <laughs> right. That's like, I don't, I'm not sure. Are you sure? That, where did you read that? Um, from the notepad. Oh, from the, oh I, don't mean, I don't mean that. I don't mean that. I just mean, did, did you, is this based on some research that liberals have low I, I think it was maybe like a study. I don't remember the university, though. Yeah, I'm not sure that's correct. You would say it's probably not correct? Well, I'm not saying it wasn't correct, but I'm just not sure it's correct. I mean, I would want to see... The study and uh, and that that showed that were that's true. And do you think that there might be? Let's say even if it was, what do you think the correlation might be for that being the reason at all? If if it were true, I'd have to look into it further. I mean, right? If, there's no. It's a sort to say. It's sort of t hard to explain why, you know, um, hippopotamuses fly. Right. Because they don't fly, <laughs> and so I'd, I I definitely want to question that claim. About, that, about, that, that's fair, I'd yeah. say. I, I'd have to uh, reference it to you in a, in a different point, but I actually had another question. Do you believe that automated intelligence like ChatGPT or The Rock's cookbook, Smell What The Rock Is Cooking, will change how education is taught? No, what's the second one? Um, the Rock's cookbook. Uh, it's just one of the things that came up. No, I don't know. I, I know about ChatGPT, and right. that is a big, big problem for us. Big problem? Absolutely. We, you know, if, if we want students to create an essay on some subject we, we, want to, we want to train them how to think we want to train them how to express uh, their thoughts and all they have to do is uh, feed a prompt into the computer and something comes out uh, it's bad enough now if it gets any better that you know we can't tell which is for real and which is chat it's going to be a big problem i i wish i could think of some solution to that do you think maybe the solution could just be like giving the teachers Maybe chat GPT, and then we'll give, because uh, there's chat GPT, like uh, three, and then four, and then four is like the paid version. So maybe we'll give the teachers the fourth version, and then we'll give the students the third version. So if the students use the free one that's not as good, the teachers can uh, use the fourth one to detect it, and then if they get them, they can sue them into the ground. Would that be a good solution? Well, well I don't think so, because I think that uh, it shouldn't be kind of... Uh, it's sort of like spy and counter spy. I mean, it should be something where the students are challenged to express themselves, to use logic, to make construct arguments, and and you know maybe maybe Chat GPT PT five will come up and some student will get a yeah. hold of it. Uh, I'd rather it got solved in some other way, but I'm not quite sure what that way would be. Not what if we. You, well, I'm sure that uh, if you're caught using it, you probably get removed from the colleges, correct? No, no, we, that's that would be too strict. Oh, it, really? We, so we, if somebody at UCLA is caught with chat, like using ChatGPT for like the final or the essay, they will leave them at the school. I, I they they will. Uh, that's they, to, to kick somebody out for that as a first offense would be unusually strict. That's what not, if they keep doing it? That then it, then it's certainly possible. And if you if you if you're a repeat offender, then that's then that's going to be a problem. Um, yeah, you know, I, I'm currently in high school. I do it online now, but even just doing it online, I see, like, a bunch of people just, uh, like, I'm not in class or, like, a Zoom or anything. I'm just giving the work. And, I, you know, I don't personally use it, but just seeing from, like, f what some other students do, a lot of them probably would, and, you know, there's, like, a detectors to see if it's uh, detected, but there's a lot of ways to get around that. So I remember I was talking with one of my teachers, actually, and I was just coming up with what we could do in... Uh, maybe we were a bit extreme on it, but we decided, like, if you use chat GPT, just maybe, like, 30 or 40 days in juvenile hall. Yeah, we don't have that power to, to do that to students. Yeah, you know, try to could... change, like, the law into making it like that. Well, I don't think people would accept it. I think that, I think that all you can do is, is p give the person a failing grade in the course and warn them, and uh, if it con goes on, put them on probation for a quarter, and if it goes on and on, then you'd, then you'd expel them. And if they go on probation, that will like go on the record, so it will be harder for them to get a job after college, or just have to make them go to college for longer. No, I don't think that goes on the record. No, no record. Yeah. 